All right. So today, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to set up Magic Mirror on the Unraid server. And um, this is what it looks like over here. I'm already logged in, and this is basically what we're going to build on Unraid. So if that sounds good, let's get started. All right. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go down and we want to go to the Unraid Magic Mirror Docker container. And this process is pretty straightforward. Um, it tells you that um, you need the XML file and it needs to be copied here. Gives you some background information on the Docker, what it's running. And then up here is where that Magic Mirror XML file is. So what we want to do is we want to come over here to our Unraid and we want to go to our docker container well first let me show you this if i go over here to um apps and i type in magic mirror or magic mirror with a space right you don't find it but we want it on unraid so we'll go over here to our docker and down here, we have the option to add a container. So we'll just add that container there. And if I go down here, you don't see Magic Mirror in my templates at all. So to get in the templates, all we got to do is go up here to hit this terminal. And we'll open up a terminal. And then I'm going to minus that. And then come over here. It gives me the list of the command. So this boot config plugin docker template user is where I want to go. So I'm just going to copy that. And then once that's copied, I'll go back over here to my terminal and I'll blow this up a little bit. And I'll cd into that directory and hit enter. And then I just like to hit ls just to see the name of my templates. So it has like my dash and then the name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to nano into it for my text editor. Then I'm going to do my dot and then I'm going to do magic mirror dot XML and hit enter. All right. So it's going to bring me to the screen right here. So what I'll end up doing is I'll go back to my GitHub, if I can click on the window there, and I'll click on it, and up here it says Magic Mirror XML file we want, and we'll just copy the raw file right here, and then we'll go back and we'll just paste it into our text editor. Now, for me, we can go up here, we can look at everything, Magic Mirror, and kind of gives us the description, gives us some information. If you want to change the ports, we can. Uh, change the bridge mode, we can for the network. Um, you can change this in the GUI that it's going to create. Or for me, I already know that I'm not going to do the catch. I'm going to do user. And then if I go down here, the same thing, I'm going to put user here. You can put what you want in there, but this is where my path is. Uh, but again, if you don't feel comfortable editing this, that's fine. Um, you can do it in the GUI. So now that we're done here, all I'm going to do is hit Control X. And I'm going to hit Save. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and save this. By hitting Y and Enter. And then now I'm back. I don't need my terminal anymore, so I'll just close that out. And this was my test one, so I'm going to close that out. And I'm going back to my Unraid server. Go back down here. <clears throat> and then now if I go to my template, if I go down here, I should see it. And I am not seeing my template in here. So let me refresh my page. And there it is, Magic Mirror, right there. So I just click on the Magic Mirror. And then it has the options up here. <clears throat> and like I said, if you didn't feel uh, comfortable doing the GUI, I mean, in the XML, you could do it in the GUI. So 
So you can change it right here. Um, I just changed mine in the XML. And then all we got to do is hit apply. And then this will go all the way through and install it for you. So now that we're installed, we'll just hit done. And then we'll go down here and we'll see Magic Mirror is um, right there. It's already started. Now we can auto start it. And then right here, um, same thing, I can hit Web UI. And then when I hit that, it says it's blocked. Um, to get around that, what we can do is we'll just go down here and we'll just copy the uh, address right here. And we'll go back to the block section and paste that in there and hit enter. And there it is. Now I got Magic Mirror on there. Now, why would we want to have Magic Mirror in there? Because like we can put the Raspberry Pi behind our Magic Mirror on our um, display and we can always SSH into it to change it. Well, a good use case for this, if I want to have multiple mirrors and I want them to have the similar setup and the same setup, I could just change it once and then have the Pi point to the web address and that way I can have multiple mirrors displaying the exact same thing um, if that's what I want to do. So if I want it downstairs and upstairs, um, I can have my display showing the exact same thing and I can just go into Unraid change it there and then it would automatically um, go to my um, Raspberry Pis. Um, but other than that, it's pretty easy. Um, same thing, we can go back over here to our main shares and then where we have app data, we can just click on that and we'll go down there and I should have a magic mirror and I do right there and I go to my modules default and then those are my default models that I can edit um, you can read up on those and how it's set up um, that's pretty much it I'm talking about it's a pretty straightforward process to get Magic Mirror on Unraid um, so I guess we'll end it there and I'll see you guys next time